So a friend of the show, Glenn Greenwald, was on Tucker Carlson the other night, and they were both uh, complaining about an experience they'd had that I think is le legitimately something to be upset about. Once again, the fake quote was about war crimes in Ukraine. Quote, see, they tied their own hands behind their backs and shot themselves in the back of the head. Putin's brave, strong, morally upright young men were merely trying to liberate them. It goes. He claimed Greenwald said that. Glenn Greenwald's an independent journalist. He's on Substack. He joins us now. Glenn, thanks so much for coming up. Did you say that? No, it was a completely fabricated quote as well. And I guess the only thing I can say for each of us is that we have the best possible enemies. In your case, Joe Walsh is this former deadbeat father who didn't pay his child's uh, child support ordered by the court. He used to be a hardcore Republican. Liberals hated him. And then he suddenly became this you know, extremist Democrat who makes up quotes in order to accuse people of being Russian agent. And in my case, Rick Wilson also used to be a Republican, now gets rich off liberals inside of a group, the Lincoln Project, that got caught hiding a child predator and built liberals out of $65,000 claiming he was making a Trump film that never came. So we have good fabricators. It's just amazing that Twitter claiming to have to censor all the time to stop disinformation allows these quotes to go viral. And so many dumb people in our media and political elite circles believe these quotes. That was the purpose of it. Um, if we have the, the tweet, the Tucker tweet, let's put it up on screen. So this is from Joe Walsh, who's kind of like a never Trump commentator. And he said, Tucker Carlson tonight, what if these bodies of tortured dead civilians were staged? What if they're fake? What if the Ukraine military killed them and blamed Russia? I'm not saying any of this is true. I'm just asking questions. But so like Tucker didn't say that. Joe is impersonating something he imagines Tucker would say. And so then like Adam Kinzinger quote tweets it with like, well, you know, why is this? Is he a Russian asset? Just asking questions. But like the quote is fake. <laughs> So you should you should so, definitely not do that. And they, the uh, Glenn Greenwald got that as well from Rick Wilson, a similar thing. So I wanted to get uh, your takes on this, uh, Kim and Ryan. I mean, Ryan, this is I know they're not journalists; they're take havers. Right. But this is like it's not obviously satire to people. You might think it's obviously satire, but people are stupid and on social media. J journalists have started to do this too. They have. It's bad. It's this. It's the Twitter form. Mm -hmm. all, all Twitter forms are bad. Yes. Like a no Twitter form should last longer than like three days. It, and it's, you, you should be ashamed if you're out there using a, like what, whatever the, mm -hmm. whether you're saying do better or whether you're like. Read the I, room. Re, read, the, <laughs> read the room and also like. This ain't it, chief. The, all, wait, wait, I it. could do a hundred of these. And then a the whole bunch of different forms to say like, <laughs> what, it's just like, be original, be creative, yeah. stop. And so one of the forms that people have adopted is Ta putting quotes around something that isn't actually a quote, yeah, but making it a kind of extreme parody version of what you're saying, imputing to be their view of the world. Because you can't debate what they actually said. You have to twist the words mm -hmm. and then debate the words that you twisted. And it's a dumb form to begin with, but when you don't do it right, and it's, and it's not obvious that you're making yeah. something up, yeah. Then, that, then you're just defaming people right. <laughs> yeah. and, fa and being right. a fabulous. Don't use quotes. Don't use actual quotes. What do you can think, you, Can you, well, can you explain, I, I think, for those of us that aren't that Twitter savvy, what's a form? What do you mean by that? So, uh, so a fo uh, like a form would be uh, like, a, a, like a form that a joke fits into. Like a template. Which, yeah, a template yeah. for a joke. So, um, like, and so this one would be, like, if, if somebody were... Uh, Making making fun of Robbie, mm -hmm. the the quote would be like, "Let's hear it." All government's bad, and like yeah. all private decisions right. are are fine, or like what you know. Right, like, more than that, it'd be like, "Oh, private businesses should be able to run your life and tell you what to do, and you're like all better. everything you might should be have privatized." Actually said that other thing. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah. Okay. So, and l yeah. let me try to find some some of the old forms that I really hate. Your um, corporate slave master should be able to sell you into slavery or something. Like right. That. Yeah. And and put, but putting it in right. quotes and then saying like M dash. Robbie Suave. Yeah. Okay. And oh, right. So it's like you're like accusing a person right. of, of thinking a certain thing, like you're right. reducing. You we, we could do this to Kim very. Uh, right. <laughs> the Ukrainian sure people I'm... deserve the death that Russia is justly giving yes. to them. Kim I Iverson mean, on right. Rising. Right. Okay. You see what I mean? Right. Right. Um, right. Yeah. Don't do that. So it's very just... bad. <laughs> Right. So, so the thing about this one in particular is that Joe Walsh. Now, who is he exactly? I don't even know who. He's that. a. I, mean, I would describe man. him as a, a never Trump commentator. I think he was a congressman, 
and ah, uh, okay. and and he had a radio show. I look, I've been on his radio show. I he tweets me all the time. I, I I'm not. I just I agree with some of the things he has to say. I'm just, but I'm calling this out because I think it was a bad it was a bad tweet. Right, and this is different than John Walsh. There's a John Walsh, right? And then there's a Joe Walsh. Is that right? Isn't there a John um, Walsh? I mean, who's the one that probably. was on? Like, did like the the whole uh, find the, the 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 bad guy? Who was the find the bad guy? Uh, Ryan would know. I don't, Robbie might be too young for that show. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking <laughs> Wait, about. <laughs> you know the show. Earlier that today we. The- Earlier today, we verified that my that Nirvana is within my cultural awareness because uh, oh, Ryan did his barely... radar on Kurt Cobain. But uh, oh, John Walsh is that? Oh no, no, the, the fine. The, I know who you mean. Wanted. The uh, America's Most Wanted. Yeah. Okay. So this the is missing not kids the Ameri- guy. The, yeah. This is not yeah. the America's Most Wanted guy. Joe Walsh is somebody different. So I think a lot of us get confused, and we think when we hear Joe Walsh, we think of John oh. Walsh, and that's the person that comes to our mind. So that's why I wanted to clarify that John Walsh is a different person. That is the America's right. Most Wanted guy. <laughs> that guy. That guy has guy. actually done tremendous. Uh, I, I have lots of criticisms of that whole thing, but that's a, yeah. that's another. I, so, and yeah. to Kim, to answer your earlier question, I remembered a couple of the other forms that I hate. One, one of them would be the word using the word challenge, like, you know, uh, you know, st- stop being a racist challenge. Oh, uh-huh. like I've never you, where, heard these things. And so you do, what, what you're doing is you don't have a very interesting thought, mm-hmm. but you're using a kind of template that somebody interesting had used months ago, mm-hmm. and you're then cramming your uninteresting thought into that template. I see. Hashtag okay. cancel Ryan Grimm. Hashtag that, Ryan Grimm is over party. Like, I don't know who <laughs> needs, I don't know who needs to hear this is another one. Mm-hmm. Like, you, so you say, I don't know who needs to hear this, but, and then you right, say something okay. unoriginal, okay. Uh, but. And so now, now you can, if you see, I don't know who needs to hear this, do you the just work, keep scrolling. Ryan. Do the work. Yes, I do the work of keep scrolling I because I know that you haven't come up with anything interesting to say because you're, you're using a played out form that's been used so often. So people need to stop kind of just constantly like copying and pasting yeah. essentially somebody else's ideas. Well, I mean, when it comes to this thing, though, uh, you know, unfortunately, I think Joe Walsh, obviously, he's got the blue check. He's apparently somebody famous that I don't know. Uh, but, you know, people are doing this all the time on Twitter, mm-hmm. like random people will constantly misquote us, right? They'll come mm-hmm. at us and say, well, you think, and then they'll say something that we don't think at all. Right. Um, or, or aren't actually, you know, like somebody wrote me yesterday and said, well, I've, I've been watching you for years and you're a big, you've always been a big Trump supporter. So I, I, this is what I expect from you. Right. And it's like, uh, anybody who's watched my, me or any of my shows, no, I have not been a Trump supporter at all, but Nonetheless, like when that's out there, then other people might read that and think, oh, well, this person is a Trump supporter, the people that are too lazy to go and check and see, you know, what the truth is. So, uh, but I don't know how to stop that on Twitter, be it a regular person or a blue jack person. Just shame, or, or, sh- shame people for anybody yeah. that says that's it, that's the tweet. We can't, gotta we, shame them. <laughs> we can't stop the randos, but we, we can call out the more high profile people that do it. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Until right, until Elon Musk <laughs> takes over, and then who knows what the rules will be. But uh, yeah, maybe he'll change that. Almost anything, any, anything goes, right? Anything yeah, goes. I think I think <laughs> with him it'll be like you you can continue to do that, and maybe even more. So I don't well, know. We'll, Elon Musk, you can do anything you want, anytime <laughs> on his new platform. Unquote. We'll see.